Hi, my name is Julio Casal, and in this video I will show you how to plan your iteration or sprint using Visual Studio 2010. Now remember we are using beta 2 of both Visual Studio 2010 and Visual Studio Team Foundation Server 2010. So, so far we have created our team project for our uh, bookstore project and we have defined some user stories, some initial tasks to do and we have also set up our, uh, our team okay? this team is built uh, of one project manager, uh, one designer, one uh, developer and uh, one tester okay? so what we want to do now is to plan the sprint and what I mean by planning the sprint is to specify which will be the length of the entire sprint or iteration and who will be participating in this sprint how much time uh, does he has available uh, for the sprint and make sure we are not allocating uh, more time that is available in each sprint okay so remember that uh, uh, in scrum you must always uh, planify your your activities in sprints usually the sprints are uh, made of the uh, the same amount of time okay so how do we do this Let's open Visual Studio. Okay, and for this uh, video, I will be taking the role of the product manager, which in this case is Scott Brown. Okay, so uh, now what I want to do is to use a very, very useful, very, very nice workbook that you will find in the uh, document samples and templates sorry in the shared documents uh, document library and you can see you have a folder for each of your iterations so in this case I will open what we call the iteration one backlog okay let's enter credentials okay So, this workbook is very useful because it lets, lets you see uh, both uh, your user stories and, and inside is each user story you can see each of the tasks that uh, are linked or are child of each user story. Okay, now let's edit this workbook because we will be saving the changes in the end and what we want to do right now is to specify how much time in hours is allowed for each of these tasks so let me quickly uh, specify the times for these tasks okay let's say 16 hours for those tasks related to sell a book and for the book list screen let's say it is the and uh, the easiest task so let's specify 10 hours for each of these and for the add book screen let's say will be 14 hours for this and for the design as it is very small let's just specify 12 you see I, spe I specify 16 hours for this one because it's like a transactional screen so it may, may involve some validations some transactions and some stuff okay so now that we have do this we have done this we must specify who will be in charge of each of these uh, tasks so let's say that for these tasks we will specify Joe okay Joe will not be testing but Rachel okay in this other one testing again Rachel Julio will be building and Joe will be designing and again Julio builds, Rachel tests and Joe will be designing okay now that we did that what we have to do is to switch to the next uh, to the next uh, okay, sheet and we have to specify uh, details about the iteration like which is this iteration and the length of the iteration so as we know this will be iteration one 
and let's say that that this will be a, a very very short sprint, like one week. Okay, uh, just a, a quick note here. Uh, I am using not real, not very real values for a Scrum process. I mean, I will specify a one week iteration, and uh, I already specified very long uh, tasks, like 16 hour tasks, which is too much. But I am just using those values for this example. Okay. So let's say that this will be one week, and we will start in November 30, 2009, and the end will be on December 4, 2009. That that gives me five days for this iteration. Okay. In the interruption staff, which we will not be using for this video, you can specify any kind of interruption in, in your sprint. So if any team member can be in each of the in any of the days of the sprint, because I don't know, maybe he's sick or well, not sick, but maybe he has to do some kind of training or some extra project stuff, you can specify it here, or in any holidays, it can be specified here. If you modify this sheet, adding any specific date in here, the available dates for the sprint will be also modified. Okay, so let's switch to the capacity tab, which is the very interesting one. Here, you can see uh, how much uh, remaining work is for, uh, for this um, sprint, how much uh, uh, capacity is uh, remaining, how much is utilized, how much is overused, which is, uh, I, as I, as we have not still assigned any work, everything is over overused in this, in this sprint. So, let's specify the team members here. So we do have Rachel Green, we have Joe Black, and we, ha we have um, Julio Casal, okay? So, as you can see, this uh, sheet is already telling me very interesting stuff. You can see that um, we okay, we have um, we are not using uh, two hours of the all available hours in this uh, sprint, and we can also see that Joe Black is overused by 14 hours. Poor Joe, he's he has too much work. And Julio Casal has uh, 16 hours uh, free. So, okay, so that's not possible. This is not very a very well balanced uh, sprint. So what we can do here is just to check back our iteration backlog. Okay, you could uh, change the hours allocated for any possible tasks. But in this case, let's take a look as, at this first user story. I want to sell a book. And we can see that there's some mistake here. Okay, Joe is the designer, so he's not supposed to be building the screen. So maybe the developer should do that, which is Julio. Okay, and as as soon as we change that, let's go back to capacity, and you can see that the values have already changed it. And this is letting us know that nobody is overused in here. And Joe even has two hours uh, free, which is it's good. It's good to have some uh, spare time for the sprint, and we have a very healthy, very good uh, planification for this sprint now. So I think that that's pretty much it for for this video. Okay. So remember to always uh, use this this uh, worksheet before starting your your actual uh, project to have a very good idea of how you are planifying your your iteration and and not use too much uh, time or more than the available time for the for the sprint. So that's it for now, and see you soon.